Okay, this morning, this is what we are going to be doing. We are going to be planning our writing. And we are going to plan our writing by drawing pictures of things that happen in the Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree story. And we are going to draw them on this story path. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. So how the story path works is the things at the beginning of the story are drawn at the beginning of the story path. The things that happen in the middle of the story are the things that are drawn in the middle of the story path. And at the end of the story path, we have the things that happen at the end of the story. Perfect. Stop swinging, please. Thank you. So, right at the beginning of the story, Winnie the Pooh is in the forest and he hears a noise. What is the noise he hears? A buzzing. And where's it coming from? The oak tree. The oak tree. Great. So the first thing I'm going to draw at the beginning of the story is I'm going to draw the big oak tree. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. yeah. And in the big oak tree there are some bees. So there are my bees. They are honey. They are. Well done. They are protecting their honey. Good word, Lookman. Protecting. And what are the bees? Control your birds, please. What are the bees saying? Buzz. Yeah. So my bees are going to be saying buzz. And who's walking in the forest? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. So I'm going to draw a really awful looking bear. He probably isn't going to look like a bear that much. He does. Thank you, Flo. That's really kind of you to say. And he's walking through the forest. He's near the tree and there is a buzzing noise coming from the tree. Does it make sense? Do you understand why that's the first picture? Yeah. Because that's kind of the first thing that happens in the story, isn't it? Yeah? So, he hears the buzzing noise and he has a think. And what does he decide to do? He does, well done, he decides to climb the tree. So my next picture is going to be Winnie the Pooh doing what? Climbing the tree. Climbing the tree. Pencils down, please. Christine. Thank you. Is there a pencil there? Hands under the table. There is no pencil. Don't worry, it wasn't you. It must have been someone else. Right. I'm drawing the tree. And what's happening? Winnie the Pooh He is climbing the tree. Get the honey, well done. So this is my bear, and he is climbing the tree. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Great, and I might draw a bee as well, just to show that. He like a bear on roller skates. Yeah, he does a little bit, doesn't he? And there's some bees buzzing around the tree, okay? Okay, he's climbing the tree, and he's almost there, but then, crack! crack! The branch snaps, doesn't it? And what happens, Kyron? He falls out the tree. He falls out the tree, and you turn. In a gorse bush, oh, the it. It. So I'm going to, the next thing that happens in my story is I'm going to draw my tree and it's got a branch there but the branch has snapped. Oh dear. And what is happening to Pooh? Oh, He's falling. Why is the tree broke? Because what happened to the branch, Kyron? It went... He's flowing. 
out. Um, but does he fool the bees? No. No, do the bees believe that he's a rain cloud? No. no, they don't, so what do they do? Stink him. They try to sting him and they chase him, don't they, when what he tries to get the honey? Him? Did one bee sting him? Yeah. There you go, you could draw that then. So they chase him away, and what do they do with Christopher Robin as well? They chase Christopher Robin as well because Christopher Robin is in on the plan, isn't he? He's walking around with his umbrella going, tut, tut, it looks like rain. And the bees get really angry because do they know that someone is trying to get their honey? Yeah. I think they maybe do. So the last thing that happens in the story is I'm going to draw loads of bees because how many bees are there? There are loads of bees. Absolutely loads of bees. And what do they do? Sting them. They try and chase them and sting them. Yes, I'm going to draw Christopher Robin running away. Oh, he looks really smart. Where are the people in the player? Yeah, he looks really smart. And where's his umbrella? Oh, he needs an umbrella. Well done, Shy Happy. He does need an umbrella. Did his food, did his shoes fall off? I'm not sure, maybe. Oh, no, that's a bee, sorry. <laughs> a bee without any wings. There we go. Okay, so just to recap, this is our story map. The things that happen at the beginning of the story go at the beginning. beginning. The things that happen in the middle go in the middle. middle. And the things that happen at the end go at the yeah. end. Super duper. So just let me recap. No pencils, please. Just let me recap what we what's happening in this story and what it represents. So at the beginning, we have got Winnie the Pooh, and he's walking in the forest. He sees a large oak tree turn around. He's Lila. And he hears a buzzing noise. The next thing that happens is that he tries to climb the tree to get the honey. But it snaps. snaps. But then it snaps, well done, and he falls out of the tree into a oh. bush. So then he starts to think again, and he thinks of going to Christopher, Christopher Robin's house. He goes to Christopher Robin's house, and, he, and he gets a balloon. balloon. He, ro he rolls in the mud. mud. And he's pretending to be a little black, 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 black rain cloud. Well done. But does he fool the bees? No. No, he doesn't. So when he gets up to the top of the tree, the bees chase him away and try and sting him. And Christopher Robin as well. And Christopher Robin's got his little umbrella because he was going, tut, tut, it looks like rain. But now he's running away. Yeah, you could draw that at the end if you wanted to. Him them jumping in the mud at the end. Well done. Okay, three, shh, two. One and zero. Well done for helping me with that. You helped me with that so much. Right, in a moment I'm going to give you a sheet and you are going to draw your own version of this. Is that okay? You're going to draw your own story map, kind of like my little one down there, which I will show you in a minute, okay? But it just looks like this, really. Is that okay with everybody? Yes. And if you are doing this at home, I would love for you to take a picture of it and send me it on purple mash. <laughs> 